hey guys it's Rochelle welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new video it's been a minute I know I say that a lot here but um yeah I just wanted to do this look for you and just chit chat and just tell you guys what I've been up to and what's been going on in Rochelle world <laughs> um so yeah make sure that you're subscribed um make sure that you hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload now that we're under quarantine and stuff, I will definitely be uploading more because I ain't got anything else to do, child. So, um, yeah, leave a comment, like, share, and can get into the video now. Um, I have my brows done already because I don't like doing my brows on camera. I'm starting off with my P. Louise base. This is in the shade Rumor 05. Um, but hey guys, yeah, it's been a minute. I feel like every time I make a YouTube video, I'm making a YouTube video full of excuses as to why I haven't been making YouTube videos. Honestly, I'm at the point where I just, I don't even want to explain it no more. Like, you guys get it. If you know me, and most of you guys that watch my videos know me on a personal level. So, um, if you know me, like, on a personal level, you guys will know that, you know, I had a lot of issues. Um, which is why I have just not been able to create content and upload YouTube videos and all of that. But I wanted to come and do like a kind of, also you guys, I have sinus issues. So if you hear me sniffling or coughing or any of, any of that, I don't have any kind of virus or any kind of flu. I just have sinus issues. I always have sinus issues. If you watch my videos, you know I always have sinus issues. You can hear it in the way I talk. Um, so yeah, that's that. But yeah. Um, I concealed under my brows using my MAC concealer. Anyways, you guys, so um yeah, I did a video like this probably around this time last year. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll probably put the link down below in the description box so you can watch it. So um you can kind of see the progress because I did a video, it's May 1st today and I'm filming this and I'm hoping that this will be up on May 2nd, um, for the latest, <laughs> maybe I'll put, post it tonight, who knows, we'll see how I feel, um, but it's probably gonna be tomorrow to be honest. So yeah, I made that video and, um, it was my first time kind of doing like an update, you know, video of like my life and what's going on and oh jeez I've been told for five minutes already that's crazy so um yeah around May last year it, I remember it because I was coming up to the end of my first academic year in university so I made that video because you know I had been absent from YouTube for a while from social media in general like I had been literally MIA and I think I was like only on Twitter for like months because I was just so depressed and I was just going through a lot and I made that video and it was kind of like my I really like that video it's probably like my favorite video that I've ever uploaded because I felt like for the first time I was actually finally being myself and not caring about what people thought about what I was thinking and it was kind of in a um it was kind of my depression talking you know like i noticed like when i'm heavily depressed i kind of just talk my shit and i don't really care but when i'm just my regular self so i'm very self-conscious which kind of doesn't make sense but you know because you would expect it to be the other way around but i don't know when i'm depressed <laughs> but i don't really be caring you know so i felt like i was really being myself in that video um so if you want to check out that video you can check it out but yeah so, a year on from then, what has been happening in my life? Last video I uploaded was a, I think, Christmas makeup tutorial or something like that. Um, hold on. Pause. Let me get my brushes sorted so we can do this eye look. Um, okay. So, what has been happening? Um, it's been a year since that video. I remember in that video I was talking about um so I was so excited because I had um a project that I was working on coming out soon. Um I spent 10 minutes kind of dirty, but it's okay. 
um yeah i had a project that i was working on coming out soon it wasn't, it wasn't really a project but that's what i kind of called it so i can be a little bit secretive but um yeah so that has dropped <laughs> um it was actually my business and yep so i started a business for those of you guys who don't know um it's called divinity but it's spelled without vowels so it's dbnty um and yeah that's been a roller coaster okay so it hasn't been exactly a year since it has launched we did a soft launch which was kind of just like gonna be like us on instagram just trying to sell products and then eventually the plan was to have a grand launch in well it was gonna be in autumn but it ended up being in winter in december um so yeah that has been the plan that was the plan and yeah it happened i um was supposed to do a video on divinity kind of like announcing it kind of like bringing it to my channel um and kind of promoting it um i even recorded it i edited it but i hated it and i never uploaded it <laughs> um and i just i don't know um obviously i'm really happy i'm happy to some extent with how we're going i'm happy with the progress that we're making um obviously things like you know with business and stuff takes time to you know really get where you want it to be and i'm fully aware of that and i'm ready for the the journey i'm ready to see the process i'm ready i'm ready to hustle which is what i have been doing for this past like year or so um but i do plan on eventually making a video about divinity it's just i don't know this may sound weird but i had a dream one night that i made a video and it went so bad i, I don't want to get into like <laughs> i don't want to get into like the the dreams but i I have this weird spiritual thing with my dreams and um yeah long story short something in the dream told me not to upload the video so i didn't upload the video and it sounds really weird and some of you guys may not understand but i know that when oh it's getting dark <laughs> i know that when um when it is time for when God tells me it's time to upload that video, I will upload that video and you guys will see it. But my my business is there. <laughs> it's there. It's still going. I'm still very happy with it. Um, I'm just, I have an announcement actually coming today that I haven't posted yet that I'm going to do after I, um, I'm finished filming this video. Um, yeah, so check us out we're on instagram at divinity shop we're on twitter also at divinity shop facebook divinity shop and our website is divinity shop.com that is d-v-n-t-y-s-h-o-p.com so check us out um we're beauty obviously beauty um online business that specializes in like lashes we got some lip glosses, we got some bundles, some virgin hair bundles, virgin hair wigs. I also do customizable wigs, but I've taken that off the site simply because um, it's just easier. I haven't, I obviously haven't been doing anything much in terms of customizable wigs, um, but I do want you guys to know that it is an option. But it's just better to just DM me on Instagram or through the, the business page or whatever. I run the page, so um, I'm always I'm always there. Yeah, so that's basically it. But I will be doing a video when Spirit tells me it's time to do the video. I will be doing the video. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit on that. Um, what else? What else did I really want to talk to? about divinity it's i feel like i've been kind i feel like i've been slacking and i've been kind of secretive about it which isn't really my intention oh, i'm messing this up <laughs> i'm messing this up which wasn't really my intention but it kind of just happened that way but i definitely need to start like i realized that i've been slacking in terms of like me promoting it 
so i really feel like i need to start doing that more um yeah so my voice is crap <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing that more this what else okay so obviously i've been that video was filmed when i was approaching the end of my first year like i said so obviously this video i am approaching the end of my second year i mean it's basically done obviously you know with what's going on in the world right now i don't obviously have classes i don't even have online classes guys because honestly what i was supposed to be doing was going on my placement my internship and that got cancelled and i was super super sad about it i'm gonna go into my little mini rona story i know i know um a lot of youtube videos are you know getting flagged and what but i'm still gonna talk about it it's not like i'm monetized anyways <laughs> but um yeah I, i'm not gonna talk about anything bad i'm not gonna tell you guys to drink this and take that <laughs> like i really um it's not about the actual virus is kind of just a little story that i'm gonna go into um but yeah because like when my placement got cancelled i never really got the time to like fully take it in because a lot was going on you know at that time like just a lot was going on so i didn't really have i really have time to like process everything like everything was just happening so fast and i just yeah so I don't I'm almost I'm basically done I just have like a little substitute for that one um placement thing that I was supposed to be doing um and that's it but I literally just finished my exams yesterday like I handed it in yesterday um it was due like this morning so I made sure to hand it in because of the time difference you know between the UK and the Bahamas so yes I'm currently home in the Bahamas yes you can probably tell by my background um I'm in my room I don't usually film in my room but you know my mom is working from home so um she's taking the like table that i usually use to film in so i'm literally squished up in my room which i don't like i don't like filming and doing stuff in my room like i don't i don't like being in my room for this type of stuff but don't really have a choice so yes um so the second year of university i don't i made a video that was like my university um yeah so as i was saying i had done a video called um my university experience i still i've just privated it like i literally privated it, privated it the other day um because i had filmed and recorded a full video and it ended up being so long so i was gonna post it in two parts and i never posted the second part because um it's a long story <laughs> it's really a long story like i um i just had problems with editing and i was switching laptops and i just yeah so that never went up so i think um i probably won't do one for second year because honestly i feel like second year never even happened like it's crazy because it started and then i it's just it's a lot it's a lot to happen this year even before the Rona situations, it was a lot that was happening. So it kind of felt like it didn't even happen, you know? But, um, I don't, so I don't really think I'll talk about it too much in depth. It was kind of just normal, to be honest. So, um, maybe when my degree is like fully completed and stuff, I'll do a video and talk about it. Um, but if you guys want that video back up, which I don't really think anybody particularly cares, but I will if you guys want the video back up i'll put it back up but yeah um that was that so okay on to recent situations in my life obviously everyone's reality kind of is the same at the moment we're all quarantining we're all um at home Kind of doing nothing obviously i'm putting on this makeup to go nowhere i forgot to tell you guys but i've been using the juvia's saharan 2 palette and i've been using this is the darker shade i was using this is the lighter shade i was using okay, and now i'm going into mac in carbon this is like a, a black eyeshadow oh i love this eyeshadow but you have to go like easy on it especially because it's black so um 
yeah so as i was saying our realities are the same right now like we're all quarantining we're all stuck inside well unless you live in like Atlanta or some shit apparently they they ain't inside no more but yeah for the most part we're all kind of going through the same thing um so yeah I have been seeing the situation kind of gradually unfold I feel like I was probably one of the only people on the planet <laughs> not on the planet but I was definitely the only pe person like in my social circle or that I knew of who actually took the situation serious from jump and actually kind of saw it kind of unfold and turn into like what it is now um I don't know if any of you guys watching me watch this channel by the name of lovely T I adore her I've literally been watching her since I was probably like 13 years old and I'm about to be 20 this year so um yeah i've been watching her for years and um she's literally probably the first youtuber her and diane are the first youtubers i ever kind of started watching and that's what kind of got me into youtube but um yeah so she's been covering the story since it was still mainly a chinese based you know thing um and through her live streams and her videos i was getting this information and i was kind of mentally preparing myself for some ish to go down my eyes are still watering but um yeah so i was kind of mentally preparing myself uh, especially when it was coming towards um so i had gotten like sick um i'm gonna be talking i'm gonna be making a video soon about my illnesses <laughs> sounds weird but i'm gonna be making a video soon about just speaking about because i just feel like it's a very important topic to talk about and um i'm gonna speak about it but i was so when you watch that video, you'll probably understand more what I'm talking about here. But I got really ill and I wasn't able to really go to class as much and stuff. So I was already kind of social distancing. First of all, <laughs> ill or not, even when I'm healthy, I'm social distancing. Because I don't really have, I'm not very the most social person in the world. <laughs> I kind of like to stay to myself. So, um yeah but in particular i wasn't even going to classes that's the thing because i don't really go out but i go to classes and i wasn't going to classes um and you know as it started getting progressively worse in the uk um i was like okay yeah i'm not going anywhere and i um i kind of i kind of at one point it's just it's hard for me to recall because everything happened really really fast i don't even really remember when it was that it dawned on me that i really need to get the hell out of here i was like um oh i think i had went i had went to some i ended up going to some class that was really important and compulsory compulsory for me to go to for my placement thing that i was supposed to be doing my internship oh shoot i dropped that in concealer got it but um too. um so i ended up going to that and i ended up kind of just seeing it was my first time leaving you know the house my flat for for it, it was literally the first time i left my flat for a long time so um i kind of like saw it kind of stuff stuff kind of was different i kind of saw like you know people starting to like um take it more seriously and you know it, it was basically kind of getting real and i was kind of like mentally preparing myself that for the fact that i might have to leave and go home and from that day i can't remember what day of the week that was but after that i want to say maybe by the next week i was gone like or maybe no, it was probably like a week and a bit, almost two weeks. I was literally gone. I was out of the country. I was here. That's to show you how quickly this escalated. Like, it went from zero to 100 real quick. And I, I felt it coming. I remember speaking to my friends. And um, I was trying to get things sorted for Divinity because I had things that I was going to, I was planning for like summer. And I wanted to make sure that. 
I had that sorted just in case I had to leave the UK. I didn't want to just leave, you know, my business. And, you know, it, it become more difficult. Obviously, I have people over there who do stuff for me. Um, so I would have been fine in terms of, like, shipping products and stuff like that. But there was other things that I kind of wanted to sort out first before I left. And I'm most of them I didn't I didn't get the chance to kind of sort out what I wanted to sort out um and it kind of just became one huge mess it really became one huge mess um so from then um I was kind of I was kind of looking in the Caribbean to see like what was going on you know I was keeping on top of stuff that was happening in Trinidad I was keeping on top of stuff that was happening in Jamaica. I was obviously trying to keep on top of what was happening in the Bahamas. We hadn't had a case for a long time. Like, it was a while till the Bahamas got its first case. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of in the clear. Because I knew as soon as they got the first case, the travel bans and stuff would start. And um, I wasn't too sure if I would have been able to come back here. Um, because of like how my visa is and all of that stuff it's, it's complicated it's a long story but um okay so from then it probably took oh shoot it took I think it was I think it was a Monday I remember I was up like really really late and I was on my phone and I was on Twitter and I came across this news article from a Bahamian news place news what do you call it? it was basically like a newspaper i think um and they were basically saying that like a travel ban had been put on the uk and i was basically like oh shit i'm not gonna be able to come home like i'm i'm stuck which is my biggest fear that was why i've been like keeping on top of everything because my biggest fear was getting stuck and not being able to come home um because I would have just, I would have lost my shit. So literally from then, from seeing that news news article, I was home in probably about five days after that. Like I literally packed my shit. I never packed up so fast. Packed up my entire dorm room. And I'm, I'm the type of person that have a lot of stuff. So it was a lot of packing that I had to do. Packing up all my clothes. I had booked, changed my flight. I had a flight booked for May. Actually, I was supposed to be traveling today, May 1st. Um, I had already changed that um, to a flight on Sunday after hearing about the travel ban on Monday. So I was going to travel on Sunday. Um, a bunch of like false information. This is my thing about the whole situation. The fake news and the fake info is really what pisses me off the most. Um, I was getting a lot of fake people were sending me a lot of fake news and it was really stressful and anxiety provoking in my situation where I'm like I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go home that was what was really stressing me out yeah and the fake news was just making it worse and I had read you know articles that or people were send, sending me things saying that the UK was going under lockdown um, people were telling me oh the airport is closed like literally coming to me saying, oh, the airport is closed. And I'm just like, why do you guys want me to have a heart attack? Like, I don't understand. And it, 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 it just really, that's what really pissed me off about the situation a lot and what I was going through. So um, I was supposed to um, leave on Sunday and I ended up leaving on Friday because I ended up saying, I was like sat in my room. Like most of my stuff was packed. Like I packed really quickly. I could have easily packed up everything in one day, which I didn't think I had the the, the potential to do, but I, I packed up everything um, pretty quickly. So I was just like, you know what? There's no point in me sitting here and waiting to see what's gonna go on. Let me just go to the airport. So I literally just showed up at the airport and I was like, please can I get on the flight for today? I don't wanna wait till Sunday. <laughs> and they put me on the flight and I was home in like, 10 hours because we had to stop in the Cayman Islands um and yeah that was it 
it was like literally the most stressful situation I've ever been in. and it's it's crazy because you know I'm so blessed that I never really got sick because I know that a lot of people are really going through it um I'm so blessed that basically that what am I trying to say I'm just really grateful that you know everything works out in the end even though I was stressed and I'm not a type of person that cries but I found myself crying literally every day because I was scared I was so scared and <laughs> I was really scared and I'm looking back on it and I'm just like oh my gosh like I really overreacted I used to, I literally would overreact over everything I was just I was in such a I was in such a, a weird place like I wasn't eating when I came back, I realized I lost like a bunch of weight because I wasn't eating, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't doing anything. It's just every day, I, I was almost scared to sleep because every day I would wake up and something else would be new, some other news, something would happen, something would change, and I was, it was just, it was really, it was stressful. But I thank God for health and for life, and that I'm here and I'm safe, and um. I'm continuing to pray for like those that are suffering, those who have lost jobs, those who have um, lost family members, those who have lost their lives. You know, there's people actually dying behind this. Besides, besides us, you know, we we sit here and we complain because we're in the house, but there are people that are actually on their deathbeds, and you know, or who have lost people. So it's it's really I give thanks. That's that's really all I can say about that. But that was a really stressful situation. Um, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna come back because I'm gonna mess this up if I talk and do this. Okay, so yeah, that was my little story. As since then, I've been home, I've been chilling, I've been happy. Um, university has been stressing me out. Obviously, we have a lot of work still to do. Well, I had a lot of work still to do when I landed here. I was in the quarantine, mandatory quarantine, for two weeks. Um, and at that time, when I first came, the Bahamas was still moving as normal. Um, schools were closed, but businesses were still open, stuff like that. But through, as the two weeks progressed, um, everything closed. So by the time I came out of mandatory quarantine, no stores was open. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. It was basically like coming out of mandatory quarantine and then going under 24-hour lockdown so it was it really wasn't any different except for the fact that i can now go to the grocery store but i still i still rarely go out like i, I don't i'm not taking that risk <laughs> um yeah um so yeah since then i've just been at home chilling i've been um exploring new things doing new things um practicing makeup a lot you know i want to get to a certain level in skill and i feel like i've just been you know closely getting better and better every day and getting closer to um my makeup goals yeah i've been getting more into astrology well i've always been into astrology but i've learned i've been learning more this brush is about to break been learning more i've been using this time to learn new skills um and yeah i've been focusing on divinity and you know bettering that and getting that where i want it to be um what else have i been doing yeah i've just been chilling watching a lot of youtube watching a little bit of netflix i want to do a review on um the show too hot to handle i actually might film that after this i'm gonna film that after this because i've been thinking to myself this look is fine i want to film another video after this i'm gonna film that video after this and see if i can get some thoughts together and you know give my two cents on that because i actually want to start doing reviews and stuff and there's just there's just a bunch you know it's opportunities in terms of like on social media and stuff it's so much that you can do now i have so much time to do stuff like it's really great i've actually been so i'm like actually enjoying quarantining and i'm actually enjoying being able to
have time to do stuff and time to be you know with myself obviously it's been challenging there has been challenging i'm not gonna sit here in front of me like i'm so happy and i'm always happy like right now as i'm filming this i'm happy but and for the most part i have been but i do know that it's a challenging time for people with mental health issues as well and you know sometimes when you're you have this much time to yourself and you have you're alone with your thoughts it gets really difficult and even me myself i feel that i hear that i understand that and it is it is happening um so it's not all happy happiness but i've been able to find so many things to distract myself such as makeup such as learning new things i'm just such a huge i'm just a huge whore for information like i love learning new things and just exploring new things and you know bettering certain skills and i am just so into that so the fact that i have time to be able to do that um yeah i'm just super happy i'm happy to be home i'm happy to be alive <laughs> i'm happy to be well i didn't get sick you know i did have a little bit when i came back i did have a little bit of throat issues but i don't really think i didn't have a fever or anything so i don't really think anything really happened so um yeah i'm just i'm really i'm i'm happy when all your lashes fire so you don't know which one to put on <laughs> Go to divinityshop.com for your fire lashes. Um, I really don't know which one, which divinity lash I want to wear today. Which one goes best with this look? Is this too natural looking? These are um, lady. <laughs> this is called lady. This is one of our lashes. I love these. These are fire. Mm, maybe I'll do the full drama. No, I love. I live for a bit of drama. I live for a bit of drama. Literally, this is probably my most worn lash in the history of lashes. Like, I've never worn a pair of lashes more than I've worn Butterfly. Like, I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's just everything. It gives me life. Boom. Look how far these are. I think they're currently £6 on my site. So, if you want these lashes, click the link to divinity in my in the description bar below if you want these lashes because they're only six pounds right now they're fire That is the finished look. I don't know if I've done a look like this on my channel. Um, I hope not. <laughs> so I don't want to do repetitive stuff, especially since I'm barely here on this channel. But um, yeah, guys, thank you guys. If you made it to this far in the video, shout out to you. Thank you for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment. Leave me a comment down below. I appreciate comments a lot. Um, yeah, subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias in the, the description down below. Make sure you check out Divinity, like I said. Bye.